Welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Momenta. So glad you could join us. Coming up, we'll meet Barbara Trainer, the author of Second Career Volunteer, and hear all about her passionate and pennywise approach to retirement. Plus, it's set to be the largest dodgeball game in the state, but will it break the Guinness Book of Records? We'll tell you about a unique event to raise awareness and funds for autism research. Now, let's check in with Teresa in the kitchen. All right, Justin, I'm here with Chef Tim Cipriano from the New Haven Public Schools. Hello there. Good morning. You always bring us uh, healthy treats for kids, we right? We do. We try to think outside the box and do something a little bit exciting, but we want to incorporate a lot of good food into it, too. And today the message is greens and beans? Greens and beans. So we're talking about good protein and good greens and you know healthy food and a good snack. All right. And some sort of hummus, I'm assuming, So we're, Yeah, we're making a hummus. Just okay. uh, uh, white beans, collard greens, garlic, scallions, lemons, a little bit of salt. Nice. Throw in the food processor. Done. All right, well, I'm going to help you with it. Oh, oh. <laughs> so it's not going to be as easy as a simple snack. It's hey going to be a little now. bit more difficult. All right, let's get the show on the road. Look right in the camera, too. Tell everyone what they're going to do. All right, sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. Get Carter. Worried about calling a lawyer? We make it easy for you. I'm Carter Mario. Give us 30 days to earn your trust. If you're not happy after 30 days, just walk away. There's no obligation. And with our no fee guarantee, you don't pay us anything unless we get money for you. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, get Carter and get the no fee guarantee. Call 1-800-900-6700. Sometimes life can be, well, a little uncomfortable. But when it's hard or hurts to go to the bathroom, there's Dole Collect Stool Softener. Dole Collect Stool Softener doesn't make you go, it just makes it easier to go. Dole Collect Stool Softener, make yourself comfortable. If you're considering home improvements this fall, you owe it to yourself to check out Advanced Window Systems. AWS is the only home improvement company used and endorsed by local celebrities with factory direct, high quality windows starting at only $199 installed. Advanced Window Systems is locally owned and operated by the Lavoie family and their experienced team of professionals. Call for our fall special and save up to 50% on your heating bills this winter. Same as cash for one year if paid in full. Brothers and Barnum and Bailey, the greatest show on earth, invites you to celebrate Barnum 200. Join us opening night when tickets are just $12.25. Opens October 20th at Webster Bank Arena. Get your tickets today. Getting out and giving back. That's how Barbara Trainer is spending her golden years. In her book, Second Career Volunteer, she offers a passionate, pennywise approach to retirement. Barbara Trainer joins me now. Welcome, Barbara. It's great to have you with us. Hello, Jocelyn. Thank you for having me. Uh, you really have come up with something unique. Oh, well, it's been going on for quite some time, but yes. you have brought this to the forefront. <laughs> You retired, but you really haven't retired because you're volunteering. Yes, I, I do volunteer uh, six months of the year. But uh, when I was approaching retirement, I had been a single parent for years and uh, no travel, no money. Um, so I had to be creative. And someone emailed me. They were in Alaska. They were hooking up at a college, and they said, oh, this college offers uh, free room and board. They supplement their staff with volunteers, offering free room and board. So I began to rethink retirement. So you saw this as a way to move on to something different? Yes, something to be on my own schedule, even though I would work. You do have a work schedule. But you have weekends and evenings free, and you go into a multi-generational, multicultural community. So you're not alone. You can be a couple, you can be a single, you can be a young person, whatever. But you're not alone once you get there. So they pay for room and board. They, they give you room and board. So that's something you don't have to worry about. Correct. So you were living on, in your book, Social Security. Yes, I'm on Social Security. And you income. sold your home. I sold the condo. I lived in Southbury at Heritage Village. 
sold that. And uh, I was actually homeless for a year, but, but I have three children in kind of like a triangle area. So I thought, oh, I'll just bunk with them. And then fortunately, my son, who's in upstate New York, said, hmm, how about an in-law arrangement? And that's what we have, but I have a separate entrance. So in January, I leave Albany for parts Wherever. then known. Exactly. Um, and I go back in at the end of May. What's interesting, though, is that you started your volunteer uh, career in Alaska. Yes. How did that happen? Well, I received prior to age 65 because uh, I had to wait till then so I would have Medicare, I would have coverage. Um, I received an email saying, oh, we're up here in Alaska hooking up. They had an RV. Friends had an RV. And this college offers free room and board. They supplement their staff to, to volunteers. So I began to rethink retirement. Now, you well, you wrote this book to share your information. Yes. And why was it so important that you wanted to share this with everybody else? Well, once I found out, it's, it's a word of mouth network. And it's an option now for retirees, for the boomers coming up, for the unemployed, for college grads. Uh, it's, it's an option for those who now have reduced financial options but with lots of time yes. in their hands. Mm -hmm. You talk about the unemployment, yes. uh, the unemployed and the fo folks who just graduated with no jobs and they're mm -hmm. looking for something. How does that help them? Well, a lot of college graduates um, come, come out and they're, they're looking for jobs. Right now it's difficult. Uh, one place, uh, Heifer International in Arkansas. Heifer has uh, uh, been around since the 40s. They help communities become self-sustaining through gifts of livestock or trees or whatever. They have a 1,200-acre ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, in the middle of nowhere, but it's a 200-acre learning center. They need a lot of volunteers. And their volunteer coordinator will discuss uh, parameters with you, responsibilities, housing, so forth and so on. But the college students go out there, they, they don't have to live with mom and dad. And they're, they're working, they're adding to their resume while uh, sending out resumes. And they're in a multi-generational, multicultural environment. So this is also perfect for the unemployed. Yes. Let's take a look at a picture that you, you, you brought along to share with us. What is this? I'm riding a water buffalo uh, and where appropriately are you? at Heifer <laughs> in Arkansas. I had never been to Arkansas, but uh, I also got to bottle feed uh, baby goats uh, at, while working as receptionist for the ranch. Let's talk about some of the jobs you've taken mm -hmm. on as a volunteer. So you've mm -hmm. been a, an administrative assistant. I was an administrative assistant for 40 odd years. So you used those skills yes. to, uh, as a volunteer, mm -hmm. and then you worked at Heifer, volunteered well, at Heifer. Well, I was assistant to the CFO at the college in Alaska. I've also been assistant to a head of school in Albuquerque. Um, I, at Heifer, I free up the rest of the staff because I answer the phone, put out the mail, do, uh, do things for education, uh, wherever I can fill in that uh, leaves a staff member to uh, better perform their responsibilities. There are all kinds of organizations you mentioned in this book. Yes. When I was looking through this last night, it, this book really speaks to so many of us, mm -hmm. not just for retirees. You mentioned so many already, but even high school kids. Well, you do have to be 18. Okay. To, because of the liability. So you do have to be 18. But uh, college students come out on break. Uh, the Learning Center at Heifer accepts, uh, they, they come out from daycare on up. And uh, my, my granddaughter, who's now a sophomore at Elmira, uh, came out to visit me while I was out there. And she was able to see this multicultural, multi-generational community that you work in. But while I was in Florida, I actually helped write a grant uh, for a woman who wanted to make a DVD for her butterfly garden. And then I did teacher worksheets. And so you, I do whatever uh, my talents uh, allow me.
Exactly, and in this book, you really do name many organizations. There's an A to Z for index. Great people mm -hmm. who want to volunteer. Yes, and you wanted to share with us too something you've made. Yes, uh, those are uh, moccasins that we handmade in uh, Alaska because there's the dark time. The, between um, October and March, the, it's light at nine o'clock and dark at three. They have many, many, act, they have music, they have all kinds of stuff. This was at the little national park, and Margaret, who is a native Klingit, um, that's their seal skin and beaver, and she taught us uh, how to do the Russian beading, that's a Klingit leaf pattern, which is spring, summer, fall, and winter. And so we did the beading, and then we made the moccasins with sinew, and um, I use them. I mean, they're well worn on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they look great. All right, for more information, you can visit with Barbara. She has an upcoming book signing tomorrow, October 18th, at Fairfield well, Library. Well, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. At, at uh, 7 p.m. at Fairfield Library. Very good. And uh, November 1st at the Bethel at Library. Bethel, right? Yes. And the name again of the book is Second Career Volunteer. It really speaks to so many people. Take a look if you're interested. Barbara, again, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. And coming up next, Chef Tim Cipriano shares a healthy recipe for beans and greens when Connecticut style returns. We had the milkman, the bread man. It's the neighborhood businesses that give you the extra special service. You know us by heart. Our retirement funds, unfortunately, have decreased. With Kinetic Care, I'm saving money, and all my doctors are in the network. They really seem to appreciate my business. They never forget the value of service, and neither do I. I call, they pick up the phone, and help me out. I come from an academic background. I researched my Medicare options. We chose Kineticare with zero premium. Every little bit helps. Choosing Kineticare was a no-brainer for me. Call Kineticare today. We'll connect you with a Medicare Advantage plan that meets your needs and your budget. Know us by I've had kinetic care for four years. They're good people. Smart, that would be me. Worldly, that would be me. Yes, Judge Judy. Common sense person, that would be me. But your honor. Hey, quiet, don't talk back to me. You live with your parents, you talk back to them. Uh -huh. Don't talk back to me. Girls, what did mom and I say about this? First, finish up your homework. Then we'll watch Judge Judy, weekdays at 4 on News 8. Students in New Haven Public Schools are learning firsthand about what it means to eat fresh local food. Well, this month, the cafeterias are serving an assortment of locally grown produce from within 250 miles of New Haven. Leading this effort is Chef Tim Cipriano. He's the Executive Director of Food Services for the New Haven Public Schools. Hello there. Hello. So the kids are eating healthy in New They're Haven Public Schools. They're eating healthy in New Haven Schools, absolutely. What are the There's major changes, you think? Well, we don't have chicken nuggets. You know, mozzarella sticks, pizza Fridays, and any of those kind of really trendy school lunch things, we just kind of abolished. And let's go with real food, you know, less processed food, and a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. And we have salad bars in 85% of our schools, and that's, that's really huge. You've got a campaign, Let's Grow Healthy Kids. Yeah, Let's Grow Healthy Kids. So Healthy Kids First is our, like, our, kind of our motto. And uh, so we're trying to, let's grow healthy kids through our, we're working with school gardens. And uh, the kids are growing stuff in the gardens, and we're serving it in the salad bars. So they're seeing seed to table and then to stomach. Well, they really time. get That's the great. message, don't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah, once the kids get their hands dirty, they really want to eat better foods and really learn more about it. So. And what we're making today looks healthy, greens and beans? It is. It's greens and beans. So it's, um, you know, beans are, and, and greens are kind of the, oh, kids are like, I'm not eating that stuff, which is, you know, that's a myth. Because, Wait, do you serve this at school? You know, we haven't done it yet. We're trying it out. But we have beans on our menu once a week, and the kids don't say anything. It's not a big deal. At and the they're eating it. Yeah. And the salad bar, we have bean salads, and the kids are eating it. And we've run out. So 
it's working. I mean, they kids like are eating. It. They like That's it. Good. It tastes good. You know, it's simple. So this is we're making a white bean collard green hummus. So. Teresa, you're going to start cutting up the scallions here. The scallions, and we're just going to throw the garlic right in here. We're going to throw Fresh extra in. because it's, uh, you know, because we can. And then we're going to add the the beans, which um, are these are we just have about two cups there. This is about two cups of uh, white beans, mm -hmm. and we rinse them to reduce the sodium. How far up do I go with these? Uh, you can go all the way. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, just don't cut your hand off. Ooh, Thanks for the tip. We want it to be green. We don't want it to be red. And then. <laughs> then we're going to add some uh, some of the collard greens. I'm not going to put them all in. Okay. So is, what is that? A, bike, a cup? Uh, can you buy collard greens? Yeah, maybe greens? about a half a cup. Okay. Like in the grocery store? Collard you, greens? You can buy collard greens. You can buy You can get them frozen too, can't you? Can you? Can you? Okay. Frozen, okay. Yeah. Yes, I think I've seen them The frozen. farmer's markets in New Haven have uh, probably still have some greens left. And so you're putting salt? A little bit of salt. Okay, that's good. What don't do you want to do your, with the, the lemon? Finger off. I think we should cut that lemon in half. Can I do it? I'll do the, you I'll go right ahead. do that. Okay. Look, I'm trying to learn what we learned. I know, I tried you know. to. What is it? Okay, a couple make sure weeks hold ago, on we learned to how lemon. to do this. All right, now we're going to squeeze go. that lemon into here. Okay, you squeeze. And One half or both halves? Uh, go crazy. Put them both in. Oh, all well, right. We're going nuts today. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in as well. To we need that thing that you Yeah, we do. What is that called? I don't know. <laughs> the, the juicer? The juicer. Yeah, I guess okay. that's it. Wow, look at that. You've been right. working out, huh? I'm so strong. Look at those guns, man. So then we're going to, you know... Make a bit, little bit of noise here. All right. You ready? Ready. Yes. And look, it all comes together. That's it? Oh, get it. We're going to add a little bit of oil <laughs> just to uh, move it around a little bit quicker. About how many people will this serve? This is, this is perfect for a tailgating party. <laughs> if you're going to a football game, you want something that's going to be healthy, full of protein, and taste good, mm -hmm. this is it. All right. That's it. And we're done. I mean, simple as that, right? So and, wow. and you, you're serving it with something healthy as well. Well, I don't know, if they're, I don't know if they're healthy. But Healthier they're, but, than what you normally but would. But they're colorful. So they're just um, it's these baked vegetable chips. Well, baked um, is always better than fried. Baked exactly, is than and fried. they're vegetable chips. And they look good, you know. And so, can we just take this off and. Uh, Tim, we're going to taste this at the end of the show. Into a bowl. All right, well, can you stick around? I can stick around. All right, Absolutely. You can find the recipe at WTNH.com. And coming up next, the largest dodgeball game. That sounds mm -hmm. fun in the States. Let's see if they break the Guinness Book of World Records. We'll bring you all those details when Good Morning Connecticut continues. Oh, no, when Connecticut style continues. We'll you got it. Back. The state wanted to build a jail on this Bridgeport land, but neighbors said no way. Residents who live just feet away from this property, they put up a fight, and today they've won. We've been on this story for more than a year, and we're glad to see that the people have finally come out on top. Who's got your back? News 8. week on The Chew. The Chew crew is ready for autumn with the best ballpark foods you can make at home. The tastiest soups to keep the ball chill away. And Michael's 5 and 5. Five ingredients cooked in five minutes. The Chew. All this week, only on ABC. I used to stand in a corner and not talk very much so people wouldn't see my deed. Aspen Dental really changed my life. I'm talking at parties more now. <laughs> now get low monthly payments with no interest for 18 months. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. I've seen my clients and their families in very difficult situations. They need the help of somebody that cares. Somebody that will step up for them in a time when they need that help the most. Their car may be damaged, they're incurring medical bills, they're out of work. We represent folks in situations that they never dreamed of being in. And it makes you want to do a better job for your client. That's what brings us back every day. Buckley and Wynn, we're with you every step of the way. On 
Sunday, October 23rd, local dodgeball players will duke it out on the courts and attempt to break the world Guinness records for the largest dodgeball game, as well as raise awareness for funds for autism research. Joining me now is Neil Richardson, the founder of Go On Dodgeball, and Lauren Joyce, the Connecticut director of Autism Speaks. Welcome both of you to Connecticut Style. Thank this you. sounds like a really cool event. So what's the goal here? How many people need do, you, do you need to take part in this dodgeball event, Neil? We need 4,000 plus people to break the Guinness World Record. Wow, so like 2,000 on each team? Is right. that what we're hoping for? 2,000 on each team. Wow, and where's this going to take place? At the Floyd Little Athletic Center in New Haven, Connecticut. That's incredible. Have you done something like this before? Yes, we've done three other dodgeball tournaments as benefits for different charities. And this year you've decided that Autism Speaks would benefit from this? Yes. All right, and uh, let's talk about how big a problem autism is in Connecticut. Well, um, the CDC has come out with statistics that autism affects one and 110 children, one in 70 boys. So boys are um, four times more likely to have autism. Um, you know, so it is an epidemic, and it's something we need to build awareness and bring to the forefront in our community. Laura, is this one of your bigger fundraisers of the year? Um, it's one of our not only bigger ones um, because of Neil really coming to us and wanting to organize it, but probably the biggest in the fall, um, and we're excited for it. Terrific. Now let's let's talk about dodgeball here. You have the ball in your hand. Right. This isn't exactly what I was used to in gym class in elementary school. No, <laughs> this is not that rubber ball it's, that it's, we it's use. It's a little it's softer, it's, right? It's not going to yes. hurt as much as if you get... No, uh, it's a foam um, foam ball and it's very soft but uh -huh. it, it could you could throw it pretty accurate if you you know if you could throw I think you got a little bit more power in you than I would if right. someone was going to hit it but it doesn't hurt when it hits you so and it doesn't sting it's a soft ball it's a gator skin ball so it's a very good ball one of the best actually all right where'd this idea come from um, f I guess from the movie. I mean, I think of the ball. movie. <laughs> right. From the movie Dodgeball, and I got on board to um, some people that asked me about doing a fundraiser for them, and they wanted to do Dodgeball. Mm -hmm. So I've been running ever since for the past four years with various dodgeball tournaments for various charities. So what are the rules? I mean, if you get hit with the ball, you're out? Every right. Last man standing? Or? Yep, last man standing. Any hit below the shoulders is good. A, a hit, if you get hit in the head, then it's the ref's call if you're out or if you're in. If you move and you get hit in the head, you're out. But if you're standing there and you get hit in the head, you're not out, you're still in. Um, so those are, that's one of the rules. And the other rule is if, the, if you throw the ball um, and the other person catches it, you're okay. out. If you catch the ball, you're out. Right. Oh, you, the all other right. person is out who threw the ball. So these Got are it. some of them. They're simple, easy rules. Uh, but once you get hit, you're out. You're and, done. And this yeah. is for adults 18 and over, men yeah. and women? Yes, men and women 18 and over. Does it get pretty competitive? Yeah, yes, I could it see does. it getting aggressive. It gets pretty competitive and it's exciting to watch it all. So. I bet. Um, Lauren, let's talk about uh, Autism Speaks. What's the mission? Um, our mission at Autism Speaks is to better the lives of those who live with an autism spectrum disorder. And through our mission of science, research, advocacy, family services, and awareness, um, we really want to bring that um, you know, mission to help those here in the state. And how can people get involved in this fundraiser? Um, they can go, we have a Facebook page, you could go to autismspeaks.org as well um, and, and contact Neil or myself to really get involved um, not only in this fundraiser but things we do throughout the state. Are you playing, Lauren? <laughs> um, I think I'll, I'll be there um, observing that day, yeah, <laughs> helping out. <laughs> it is open to the public, there's yes. going to be an uh, area for spectators. Right. And uh, you're also looking for some entertainment. Right, we're looking, f uh, we're going to feature, we call it five minutes of fame for local talent to come out and perform. You have five minutes to put your best performance on. Got so it. if anybody's interested, please call us and let us know. Now, can you call a timeout? I mean, you must need a break if you're oh, going yeah. to. There'll be a timeout. Be timeouts? Yeah, okay. There'll be timeouts. All right, we have about 30 seconds left. Give me a tip. What's a good secret? You're supposed to aim at a certain area or. Just give it your best throw and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, thank you so much for coming, and you too, Lauren. Thank uh, you. Best of luck with the event. All the information is back there on your screen, October 23rd at 6 p.m. Uh, it's at the Floyd Little Athletic Center, 480 Sherman Parkway in New Haven. For more information, call the number on your screen or check out Go On Dodgeball on Facebook. Sounds like fun to me. Coming up next, there's a whole lot more Connecticut style. Don't go anywhere. That's good.
We have been struggling for months and months. NACA can make your mortgage payment affordable, and it's free. I came in here with 13%, and I got approved for 2%. Don't miss this incredible opportunity to get an affordable mortgage payment, saving hundreds and sometimes more than $1,000 a month. I went from $1,600 a month down to $800. The Save the Dream Tour is at Hartford's Excel Center from October 20th to the 24th. Sign up now at NACA.com or call 888-499-6222. Before you renew your Medicare insurance plan, talk to the friendly folks at Health Insurance Associates. We can show you how to save money with new zero premium plans that offer in and out of network doctor visits, hospitalization, and prescriptions. At Health Insurance Associates, we take the time to explain all your options, including these new zero premium plans. Call now to schedule your personal one-on-one -on -one appointment. Health Insurance Associates. Medicare insurance made simple. Both of my sons were in a car accident. For all the people that we talked to, we found that Jonathan was best for us. I slipped and fell at a store, crushing my left shoulder. I felt as though no one was listening until I called Jonathan Perkins. My doctor made me believe that I was in better shape than I really was, and which led to complications during the birth of my daughter. With attorney Jonathan Perkins, I know he's working hard for me. I'm Jonathan Perkins. I'll fight hard to get what you deserve. Call 1-800-PERKINS and win. This year, News 8 launched our Wait to Text campaign to encourage drivers not to text while behind the wheel. We recently received some letters from Weston High School. Well, it all started from this teacher, Lucille Baker. She's a business education teacher at Weston High School. And she wanted to challenge her advanced computer application students with the following question. Here's okay. the question. Is texting ruining our ability to communicate? So then she guided her students to our website and, and they, then the students, they letters. wrote many letters mm -hmm. uh, to, to the news station here. And pros and cons, I'd say, with both of them. One of them said, is that texting is it's ruining the ability to communicate it says for an example here teenagers use texting texting as an alternative for many experiences asking people out to the prom breaking up it's all happening over text not message so now anymore, not so exactly. tech not, yeah that's from Mars Mangini and then uh, this person thinks Chris Petty that uh, texting is actually uh, increasing the ability to communicate because you have more options I suppose not just email or I am you have the texting now as well exactly but well, but my one thing too is that it is kids are not learning how to spell correctly anymore it's all shorthand <laughs> it's right all shorthand. It's all shorthand. <laughs> you know we have to remember how dangerous it is behind the wheel exactly. as well and the whole message is wait to text bottom line exactly all right let's go to the kitchen and try the food shall hummus we? yes hummus <laughs> let's check this out Tim this looks fabulous. It's great. And we're with all of our guests. Yes, and we're going to try. Let's grab some plates here. Did um, you guys try it? No, yet? I don't even no. know. No, you think we can try it? Very good. Okay, we're good. we can always just we pass that down there and uh, dig in. It's a guys party. dig in. There you go. It's good yeah. for a tailgate party. Barbara, where, where yeah. can you get the book? Your, uh, your oh. website? Uh, at my website, which uh, is www secondcareervolunteer.com. Very good. All right, we're just about out of time. We want to thank all of our guests here today, but most of all, thank you for watching and make it a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Mmm. Help yourselves, guys. Come on. <laughs>